You're late again, but it's fine. I forgive you. Uh, thanks. So, what do you want? I have some things to say about the way you fight. The way I fight? Yeah. I've seen you fight many times, and you have a lot of wasted movement. You're no longer a cadet. If you want to call yourself an OSF soldier, don't just flounder around. On the battlefield, you need to always be reading your enemy's movements and consider your next move. Use your brain. So he calls me here to criticize me? What the hell is he thinking? Hey, are you listening? I'm spending my precious time on you here. Hang on. I don't really know what's going on. Why did you want to talk? Because you helped me before, however slightly. I'm returning the favor by giving you some advice. That was advice? Sounded a lot like you were making fun of me. What? You can leave if you don't want my advice. I thought you'd want to get stronger. He's annoying, but he has been in the OSF longer than me. If he really wants to help, I guess I'll listen. All right, I'm all ears. A wise decision. You can't win without hard work. Though I'm sure that doesn't make sense to someone who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. He can't stop with the insults. I bet he doesn't have any friends. Back to the subject. I told you to read your enemy's movements, but it must be hard for an inexperienced rookie to do that. Instead of relying on hazy knowledge, it's better to work on reaction time and calm decision-making skills. I see. Unfortunately, you lack both right now. It's a miracle you're still alive. <coughs> was it incredibly good luck, or was it your teammates? If you don't want to die young, you need to get better. I listened to you, and all you did was insult me. You hate my guts. Any reason why? What? I go out of my way to help you, and you think that's an insult? Come on, that last bit was definitely an insult. Fine. I'll tell you if you really want to know. I haven't liked you since the first day I met you. Since I was scouted, I worked for years to get strong. I've been near death more times than I can count. How could I like someone who was born in the Sumeragi family and pampered his whole life? Who my family is doesn't matter. I'm my own person. No matter what you think of yourself, everyone else only sees the Sumeragi boy. That... that may be true, but... That's why everyone was prejudiced against me, even though I worked so hard. But if I say that, Shiden will have a field day with it. <sighs> if you don't like it, you have to become strong enough to surpass your name. But if you can't listen to advice, it'll be impossible. The fact that a volunteer soldier like you made it into Captain Seto's platoon had to have been because of your family connections. What? Another thing I hate is those dolls you guys collect. That little packin' or whatever. What's cute about such a weird little thing? There are some things you just don't say. It's Baki, not packin'. That's rude to Baki. What's with you anyway? You're just spewing insults now. What? You're the one who complained when I was just trying to give you advice. That wasn't advice. It was just nagging and insults. I've had enough. I'm out of here. Fine. What's with him? Did he actually think that was advice? It's like he's made of insults. Next time he calls me, I just won't show up. I've added new functions to version 1.1 of the Forced Break program. It's a system that teaches you simple relaxation methods when you enter rest mode. Now give it a try. I didn't come here to test this, Arashi. Why don't you quit developing this program? You came all the way here to tell me that? What a waste of time. You should have just refused when I invited you. No, 
I think it's important for me to tell you this. Hm. I'm all ears for your elegant speech, oh great one. It's not like that. I just don't know about forcing a break through a program. There are easier ways to help people relax. You could offer to listen to their problems or give them some advice. I see. I'll have to explore those options. Why don't you tell me about your problems then, Yuita? What? I'm taking your suggestion. You have a lot of pent up feelings because of all this hard work you're doing, right? So, out with it. I don't know where to start. Like my family and brother? Chief Sumeragi? That's a bit of a touchy issue. Yeah. I had no idea he was involved in something like that. He even set me up as a traitor. My dad didn't tell me anything either. I understand your confusion. Although I can understand why the chief did what he did. Does that mean you approve of their methods? I didn't say that. I don't endorse them or forgive what they did. However, the way they're willing to sacrifice their own family if necessary is something I can see myself doing. Would you be able to do that to Major General Fubuki? You could sacrifice your own brother depending on the situation? I would, but he wouldn't be able to make the same decision. For better or worse, he's still a child. You two are similar in that way. What's that supposed to mean? Children think they can save everyone, but that's not how reality works. There will always be something that needs to be sacrificed. Grown-ups have to figure out the line to draw on what to give up. I think you hate being that kind of grown-up. <laughs> Is that so? Well, you might be right. If I stayed a kid, I might be happier thinking I could do anything. Being able to selfishly slack off whenever I want is something a grown-up gets to do. Pretty cool, right? No, grown-ups shouldn't slack off. You really are so much like him. Thank you. So happy. Didn't I have something to talk to Gamma about? I guess I don't need to mention it, but you don't avoid me. I have no reason to. Do other people avoid you? Yeah, the youngsters probably feel awkward around an old man like me. I'm used to it, but it can still hurt, so I'm grateful. This is what it means to trust each other. Yeah. I trust you to have my back. Hey, I'm grateful. Yeah, I, I made, I made one so they 
gave to him first and then I found one in the hospital. Hey, I'm grateful. No, it wasn't the hospital. I think it was at this place. I found one at one place and then I got one from a quest. This is amazing. Thank you. You're working very hard, Yuito. You think so? Thanks. <laughs> You're gentle, earnest, and straightforward. It makes me a little jealous. I can't be like you, and I don't have to. But I still recognize your good qualities. to get to know you even better i was actually thinking the same thing i think we can be better friends <sighs> what's the matter hanabi why are you sighing did something happen oh yuito no it's nothing come on you can tell me We've known each other since we were kids. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. So, the other day when I was battling an other, I accidentally burned a building that was nearby, and Gemma scolded me. He said that my control of my powers was rough, and I'd eventually end up hurting those I need to protect. He doesn't mince words. He's right, though. I wasn't paying enough attention. Gemma asked me what I wanted to be as a member of the OSF and to think hard about what I'm fighting for. The thing is, I still can't picture what I want to strive for. Right. You did mention that you never thought about what you wanted to do in the OSF. Yeah. And the things we've seen since joining, you know, the suspicious secrets and inhumane experiments, just awful things that ruined that image I had of the OSF as a kid. That's true. After finding out that the organization we're in caused a lot of suffering to so many people, I can't picture anything positive when someone asks me what I want to fight for as a member of the OSF. I understand that feeling of disappointment, finding out this isn't the organization you thought it was. But you're the one who's out there fighting. You just need to figure out what you're fighting for as an individual, not as part of the OSF. My reason for fighting... I'm not sure if I have one. I bet you'll come up with something if you think about it. I mean, if there's no reason, then why have you been fighting by my side all this time? It's because you... I what? N nothing I'll try thinking about it some more. Okay, but there's no rush. I'm always here if you want to talk. Thanks. It's not like me to doubt myself like this. Feeling sad won't change anything. All right. I'm going to find a reason to fight. Yeah, that's the spirit. Thanks for cheering me up. You were always cheering me up when we were kids, so it's my turn now. You don't owe me anything, but I'm happy to hear you say that. Thanks for listening. Sure. Just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Don't worry. I will. Huh? You're flushed. Do you have a fever? What? N no I was just admiring... Admiring what? Oh, uh, like, you and everyone else? I was hoping I'll always be with all of you.
I feel like you really trust me. Of course. I trust you the most. I'm tired. I should rest a while. Do you guys have a minute? We need to talk about what we should do next. We were talking about either going to Togetsu or Seiron. Yeah, but I don't think there's much difference between Seiron and New Himuka. Especially when I think about those ampules. That's why I'm thinking about reaching out to Togetsu. Does that mean our only option is defecting to Togetsu? No, we're not just going to be running away. I have no idea what kind of place it is, after all. All I know is that it's an independent religious state, and that they may have information Suo and Seiron don't. Unlike my father and brother, I've grown up not knowing what this government... what this country is really like. Even now, there's probably more I don't know about this place than I do. That's why I want to find out. I just want to do whatever gives us the best chance to learn something new. What do you guys think? I agree. The hideout might be safe, but nothing would change if we just sat here and held our breath. Besides, Togetsu's isolation means a lower chance of being attacked by Suo or Kasane on Seiron's behalf. I don't know what kind of place it is, but it might be worth checking out. I don't mean to make this a case of process of elimination, but I doubt we can get any more information from Suo or Seiron. Besides, as someone looking to uncover this country's secrets, I'm intrigued by Togetsu. It might also give me a chance to learn my brother's true intentions. Actually, there is something I remember about Togetsu. A while back ago, my uncle had mentioned about a deal he had made with them for work. You mean... The OSF hospital? Yeah. Even though it's an independent city, they apparently have normal business transactions. What is it that they were dealing? I think he said food and medical supplies. Although I'm not sure if it's still going on to this day. It's likely that there's more to the deal than that. If the OSF hospital is involved, it will surely be connected to power research or metamorphosis technology. Is it just me, or does Togetsu seem a little fishy? We have to accept a certain level of danger. As they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Yeah, I think so too. Thanks for remembering something so important, Hanabi. We'll be able to keep an eye out for that now. You're coming, right? To Togetsu? I mean... Of course. Whatever deals my uncle had with them have nothing to do with me. And if they're doing something bad, we'll just take them out. I'm not sure we should go there looking to pick a fight. Figuratively speaking. 
I'm glad you'll be coming with this, Hanabi. You make people feel so... warm inside. What? Really? Like, I set the mood for the group? More like Togetsu is in the middle of snow-covered mountains. What? You're after my pyrokinesis. <laughs> well, Commander, I guess we know our platoon's goal now. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Let's move out. Our next destination is Togetsu. of the snow and ice. They don't know what causes them, but they occur in snowy areas where others are. Let me borrow this. Oh, no. You 
to do something about this block of ice to go further. It looks too big to move. Can you break it, Yuita? Although, I guess we don't want you to overuse your power. Then we can use my power to shorten the time we need it. You okay? Thanks, Sanabi. Here. I guess they wouldn't be. Togetsu is farther up the mountain. It acts like a natural fortress to the city.
We've been walking for a long time. Wataru, how much farther to Togetsu? Quite a while. You're not even halfway there. It really is in the middle of the mountains. Are you okay, Luca? Yes, I'll manage. These steep paths, though, they're hard for someone as small as I am. Get behind me. I can at least block the wind. Thank you. I should really start training like you do. Togetsu is the home of the Faith's main temple. Do you know what kind of religion it is? Something stupid. Apparently it's kind of like a cult. That's what I heard, at least. With their main temple this far from civilization, it's only normal to assume they'd be ascetics in tune with nature. Let's see. The Togetsu Faith. Ah, here we go. It's a moon-worshipping religion. One of their tenets is that the soul will return to the moon. The founder is Hitoyo Pope. The religion has a long history, but it looks like they've always lived quietly in the mountains here. You would think the fact that Nuhimuka allows them to govern themselves must mean that they aren't that big. I'm sure Kagero knows a lot more. He was a Togetsu believer, after all. Did he tell you anything, Sugumi? No. Kagero, he didn't talk much about the Togetsu faith. Oh. Well, they have a unique lifestyle there, but they're not totally cut off from us. I don't think they'll turn you away at the gate. That's what former Major General Karin said. We probably won't be welcomed with open arms, but I hope they'll at least listen to us. Okay, just a little farther to Togetsu. Yes, 
tires me out. Thank you. 
There's a resource reading near here. What do you want to do? something rare.
There you are. Master Yuito has arrived. Welcome to Togetsu. Huh? Uh, hello. This isn't what I expected at all. Lady Hanabi Ichijo, we are forever in your uncle's debt. Yes, thank you. So, what does he do for you again, my uncle? He mainly provides us with food and medical supplies, and we give him resources in return. Resources. Thank you for this warm welcome. I didn't expect it on an unannounced visit. Uh, so, we... You are interested in our knowledge, yes? Huh? You are a special guest. Please come with me. It seems we're being welcomed in, though I don't know why. You could say it's a stroke of luck, but that's a little too convenient. It looks like they know we're here for information. It seemed like they knew about Yuito and me too. I don't see anything or anyone strange around us, but there are many things I can't see. It honestly doesn't feel right to me. But we won't know anything unless we keep going. Let's follow those people. Sugumi, let us know the moment you notice anything. You too, Wataru. Got it. Copy that. Be careful. Look at all of them. It's amazing. Are these real books? If I could, I would like to read them all. Um, what is this place? Please speak to history. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Speak? Who are we supposed to speak to? Besides us, there's no one else in this room. Huh. Oh, maybe he means we should read the book on that desk. <laughs> what, is what is it that, that you seek? seek? Kyoka? What's going on? Why is there an image of Kyoka? Name, Kyoka. One relevant result. I will provide information about Kyoka Eden. Kyoka Eden is one of the design children created in Togetsu. Design what? What does this thing mean, created? Design children. I've heard that phrase before. If I'm not mistaken, they're people that were designed with specific genes for desired outer appearance and physical ability. I looked into it, too. It's basically what Luca said, but it says it's just a theory and impossible to implement. Yes, it's kind of hard to believe. How could a mere religious group have such advanced technology? And how could Kyoka be one of them? I've never heard that she was involved with Tokyo. 